attention, please. On behalf of the government of the United States of America, I would like to welcome you to the beginning of the greatest adventure of your lives. You are all sedated to ease the shock of what has happened. Faced with the threat of worldwide development of atomic weapons, a special government committee set into action a plan to provide for the continuation of the human race in the event of global thermonuclear war. You are here because we are now engaged in such a war. Foresight on the part of this nation's leaders has allowed us to make limited survival possible. In 12 locations within the borders of this country, installations such as this are now operational. Those of you in this room, along with the 168 men and women in the other installations, were computer selected for the special knowledge each of you can transmit to the future. Other considerations were sex, age, and physical superiority. Within the 26 rooms and more than 18,000 square feet in this self-maintained installation, you will find all necessary life support supplies allowing for up to five years confinement and all necessary instructional material. You can view any part of North America in detail by a synchronous observation satellites with which you are linked. Ultimately, when your computers indicate that the radiation level on the surface has fallen below the safety threshold, the elevator in your complex will become automatically operable and you will be able to return to the surface. It is our hope that you and the 168 chosen survivors like you will find the strength to transcend this greatest of all tragedies so that humanity will not have perished because of the actions of the few but will flourish again because of the courage of the few. May God bless you. This message was pre-recorded and automatically programmed. responsible for the maintenance of the computer and the life support systems in this complex. How do you happen to be here now? If it wasn't me, it would have been the officer that alternated with me. Where exactly are we? You are 1,758 feet underground. New Mexico, they tell me. What do you mean, they tell you? They didn't want me to know. They flew me in and flew me out every time. Deserts, pretty much the same every place. What if something goes wrong down here, some kind of a failure? We'll just have to repair it. You have the equipment, tools? Yes, we have everything here. Living accommodations? 
There are private rooms for everyone, each with its own bath and a closet full of clothes. Thermonuclear destruction. Four billion people. is the southern hemisphere. We'll be getting views of the South Pole on this screen. The atmosphere is on fire. It looks as though a chain reaction is taking place. California and Arizona. Now this is from an altitude of 50,000 feet. We're centered in on San Francisco. Or rather, what's left of it. Oh my God. What's the temperature of the ocean on the coast? The surface temperature is 214 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't want to see anymore. I can't see anymore. You have to see it all. What do you want to see? A million turn 